Hey guys, what's up? This is Cory, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. So I just went ahead and healed up off screen really quick after I defeated the gym leaders, and oh, here's Team Magma, whoa. What's going on? Alright, well I'm definitely about to follow them and see what's up. They're going to the Space Center to try and steal something, or I forgot exactly what people said they were going to go do, but whatever it is, it's no good, because they're Team Magma and they're assholes, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to fight all these grunts here. Yeah, as promised, we've come for the rocket fuel. I actually don't know if I have to fight them, but I kind of want to just because I hate Team Magma and I want to destroy them. Honestly, of the two, I think Team Magma is a little bit worse. Like, Team Aqua is still pretty evil and they're doing some crazy shit, but I don't know. Something in me, I, I like him a little bit better. Alright, so I'm just going to go for Strength, honestly, because, I mean, it's a powerful move and I'm level 40, so... Yeah, he just can't even take that. It's a, just a stupid little Zubat. I mean, honestly, what did you expect? And a Pichaina. I guess I might as well just stay in. I don't know, why not? And let's see. I'm just gonna earthquake this bitch and see how much that does. <laughs> I'm sure it'll kill it in one hit, because I mean, 100 base power, stab, and I have the soft sand. So yeah, that's just like, earthquake is just gonna wreck everyone. I just realized how good that is. <laughs> All right, ran out of fuel, haha. -ha. That was so punny, I forgot to laugh, okay. So yeah, I don't think I have to beat all of them. I'll just go this way and just fight these two guys. Skip that one down there. Rocket fuel, okay, yeah. I'm not even gonna read everything you're gonna say. It's just useless garbage. You're in the wrong, you're trying to steal stuff. I'm gonna stop you. I mean, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Sent out a ball toy, okay. <clears throat> I think that thing does have levitate though, so earthquake isn't gonna work, even though it would be super effective given that it's rock type. So I'll just go for strength, I guess? <laughs> and that just kills it in one hit, super easy. Pretty good move to have, actually, given that it's an HM move. Like, I like how some of the HM moves are actually really good in battle. Like, I'd say Strength, Fly, and Surf are probably the best ones. Okay, I'm gonna talk to this dude. Our leader said no one, but no one gets past me. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna get past you because I'm gonna defeat you, and then I can just slap you aside and go on up the stairs if I want to. So, okay, he has three Pokemon though. That kind of is just annoying. It's gonna take a bit, but that's fine. I'm just gonna go with Earthquake on this Mightyena. Okay, why is this Mightyena like lower level than the last trainer's Puchaina and even the Zubat I just fought? Like, it's a fully evolved Pokemon and it's weaker than all the other ones I just fought on those two trainers. Like, seriously, what is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> all right, getting tons of experience and a Numel. Earthquake again will just completely destroy this thing. Actually, you know, Strength will probably destroy it. I don't even need to waste an Earthquake. It's only level 30. And I'm 10 levels higher, and it's just a beast move, and... Oh, not quite, you know, that sucks. I should have gone for the Earthquake, but that's fine. Okay, takedown, he's hit with Recoil, is that gonna kill him? Oh, it didn't. That would have been awesome if he got killed by his own Recoil. So I'm just gonna go for Ember, because even though it's not very effective, he had almost no HP left, so that just killed him really easily. And let's see what he's gonna bring out next for his third and last Pokémon. Uh, another Mighty that's fine. It's probably gonna be a little bit high level, but I don't even care, I'm just gonna go for another Earthquake and destroy it. Okay, no, it's like the same level. Or maybe the other one... No, the other one was 26, I think, so... That's fine, though. Just Earthquake, you're dead. No contest. Pretty awesome-looking Pokémon, though, I gotta admit. Okay, and he survived that, but that's fine. I can just go for another Ember Strength or something, and... Yeah, I might as well go for Ember. I mean, that'll do enough, I'm sure. Yeah, just easy. I took... Let's see, what is that? Not like, I'm not even gonna try and do the subtraction, because I suck. I just took almost no damage. I think, yeah, it's 15. I took 15 damage from that guy with his three Pokemon, that's all I took. And he just steps aside for me because he knows that I'm the boss and I'm way better than him and oh my gosh, what's wrong with you? You're outnumbered three to one, but you still want to take us on? Yeah, I do. A reckless go-getter. Okay, I'll go first. So when I first, oh yeah, when I first saw this, when I, the very first time I played this game, I honestly thought it was going to be a triple battle and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. But sadly, you only take them on one at a time. They can at least do a double battle and then a single, but no. Just one at a time, so I'm just gonna go for strength, because that easily took out the last level 32 Zubat, so, you know, not much of a problem there. How much you wanna bet I'm not gonna take a single damage, a single dub. I'm not gonna lose a single HP from all three of these guys. <laughs> I just couldn't think of the right words to say that, I don't know why. Even though Camel Toe's um, pretty slow base stats, um, you know, I used all the. Uh, which one was it? I think it was Carbos that raises the speed, and I gave all those to Camel Toe, so. Yeah, go ahead and lower my. Why didn't the last Might Aina lower my attack? I just realized. Or maybe it did, and I just didn't notice, but okay. Um, I want this thing dead, so I'm just gonna go for an overheat, because I doubt an earthquake's gonna kill it in one hit, because it didn't with the last one. That one was only level 28, so. 
I mean, I have 6 PP of overheat, and I know my special def special attack is down now, but that's okay, because I'm pretty sure ground type counts as physical in this game, so I can just go for Earthquake on, on the next guy. Oh no, it doesn't even matter though, because it, like, goes out of battle, so his stat lower just doesn't, it just, like, cancels out. <sighs> I need to stop, because I can't think of anything to say, like... I keep trying to say shit and just stumbling over my words all the time. This is like some really bad commentary these last couple episodes. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't know what's up with me right now. So, I'm just gonna go for... Hold on. I actually want to confirm that this thing has levitate, because I honestly didn't know... Okay, I thought it did, but I wanted to confirm it, because I could have probably... You know, if it didn't, then I could have been killing this thing with Earthquake really easily the whole time. But now I know for sure, so that's okay. And Strength just easily takes it out. Kinda of pisses me off that strength isn't fighting type though, like it really seems like it should be. And Rock Smash should be rock type. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it has rock in the name of the move. Like why is it not rock type? Okay. So it's just a bunch of grunts. Is there no maxi here this time? Why would Team Mag want to steal our rocket fuel in the first place? I don't know. Okay, those guys aren't gonna say anything useful. I'm just gonna go down here and talk to this guy that's blocking Steven and fight. Okay, there's Maxi, never mind. Clear out of the way, don't you dare interfere. See what happens when I talk to Steven. Team Magma, what's the point of stealing rocket fuel? Since you're so curious, you deserve an explanation. We're going to jettison the entire load into Mount Chimney. <laughs> that sounded dirty. With the Grodon gone, we have no need for that slag heap of a mountain, so we'll use the fuel's power to make the volcano erupt. It will be savage. That's terrible. Whoa! He just shoved him. What a bitch. <laughs> Is that it? Cory, you're going to help me? Let's go into battle together. Oh, sweet. So we get to do, like, an actual legit double battle. Okay. Choose a Pokemon and confirm. That's kind of cool that I get to choose, but, I mean, I'm just going to go with Cameltoe again. He's been doing work against all these guys. Oh, it's one of these. Okay, I guess I'll have Sushi a second. And, I don't know, Bird Bro is third? No, he's going to be weak to fire. Eh, why not? Okay, that was kind of interesting. I don't know why it's going this way. It's like the battle tent things. It's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool going into a double battle with Steven, so... Okay, he has... Wow, he has all steel types? Like, are you serious? They're all weak to fire. Like, that's weird. Well, no, I guess not all. Like, Agron is not because of part rock type. Okay, so they each have... Okay, this is gonna be a pretty intense, awesome, sweet battle. Like, the admin and the leader, and they each have three Pokemon. And Steven and I each have three Pokemon. So, Camerupt versus Camerupt, obviously... Um, hopefully because of my uh, Carbos that I used on it, I'll be faster. And so I can use uh, Earthquake and probably kill his Camerupt before he can kill mine. So I'm gonna go, that's my strategy there. And, okay, he targeted Metang, so that's kinda cool. I mean, I don't really want Metang to hurt itself, but I mean, I'd rather it have swagger than I do. <laughs> and I just said it's confused twice. Aw, oh, man, come on, Metang. Steven, train your Pokemon better, gosh. <laughs> Alright, and yeah, like I thought, I used Earthquake first. I'm even faster than Metang, which is interesting. Oh, wait, now Earthquake hurts my teammates, that sucks. That didn't happen before, or maybe it... I don't know. Okay, sorry, my tank shit. <laughs> um, I guess I could have thought that out a bit better, but I didn't really know that would happen. So, now he has a Golbat. It's interesting. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna go for... Overheat on... No, he's probably gonna attack my you know. I'll just go for Strength on Golbat. Probably won't kill it in one hit, but, I mean, it'll do at least half, I'm sure. Okay, and Metang is hit by Bite, and... Maitaina flinched... Or no, Maitaina missed, Metang flinched. So it's just me and Golbat left now, and okay, actually strength did hardly anything, so I'm gonna switch and use Overheat on Golbat now. And Metang is almost dead, and Maitaini uses Takedown on me, that's interesting. You could have just d easily destroyed the Metang, I mean, he has almost no HP left. And he snapped out of Confusion though, so that's cool. That really annoying beeping sound. I only want Met I actually want Metang to die solely for the fact that that sound will go away, because he has low HP. And sends out another camera up, which is interesting. And, oh, I would miss Overheat. Like, that sucks. Okay, since my tank's almost dead anyways, I'm just gonna go for another Earthquake so I can take out the camera up and just sacrifice my tank. I know that's kind of a dick move, but, like, he's about to die anyways. Oh, wait, it... Oh, crap. Okay, well, that just screws up my whole... Oh, but Skarmory is flying type, so Earthquake won't affect it. That was perfect. Way to go, Steven. <laughs> All right, so there goes camera up. Obviously, it's not gonna affect Golbat. But that's fine. Camel is probably not going to last a whole much longer here. Yeah, I know it doesn't affect Skarmory and Golbat. They're both flying types, pretty obvious. And leveled up, that's pretty good. Sweetness. And wait, why is he showing that Skarmory gained experience? Like, seriously. It's Steven's Pokemon, like that doesn't even matter at all. So I'm going to go for Overheat on Crobat, hopefully take it out. And 
Really, dude? You use Protect? Like, you're not gonna go for the offensive and help me take out these Pokemon? Are you serious? Okay, so now I can't switch out, but that's fine. I wasn't really planning to anyways. Um, I'm just gonna go till he dies and then go to Sushi, I guess. I probably can't even switch out anyways if it's like those, um, Battle Tent things where, you know, it just automatically switches to the next one when I die. Alright, so Overheat didn't kill it, that kinda sucks, but I'll just go for Strength now. If I survive long enough to use it. Oh, that's probably gonna kill me. Yep, okay, so there goes Camel Toe, that's fine though. And now Sushi's gonna come out. Okay, I probably could have switched though, never mind, but this is fine. And it's kinda funny how we have a gro uh, Golbat and a Crobat right there. I almost said Grobat. <laughs> and Colbat. <laughs> Get those all mixed up. And it's got the Intimidate, so that's cool. I know I'm just like narrating all the obvious shit that's happening in the battle, but I mean, that's pretty much all you can ever talk about. <laughs> When you're doing Pokemon Let's Play, like, I mean, what else could I say? I could talk about how Sar Skarmory is the best Pokemon ever, but, you know, you you know how I feel about that. So I'll just go for a Surf, because why not? That's kind of weird how, like, Surf doesn't affect your teammates, but Earthquake does. Like, I don't know why, how they decided on that, but whatever. And really? You're using a wing attack on Skarmory? You're kind of an idiot, dude, just saying. Have you ever noticed how derpy Golbat's eyes look? Like, look at the way, like, one of them is kind of lopsided and the other one's in the center. Like, it just looks weird. And he switches out to Aggron for some reason. Oh my gosh, and Golbat survives with the 1 HP. Stupid jerk, you would do that. Um, I should have gone for another Surf, but oh well. I'll just go for Twister now. I mean, he's not going to use a potion yet. So there goes Golbat, and I think he still had one more Pokemon, or maybe that's it. Let's see here. Yep, one last Pokemon. Probably not going to be anything too threatening yet. Just another Mightyena. Okay, this one's level 38, though. That's a bit more threatening. Um... I hate how I only get Intimidate when I first switch in, like, I wish I could get it on him now, because, I mean, Sushi's still there. My Diana still sees it, so it should get the Intimidate, but I guess that's just not how it works. I'm just gonna go for a Hydro Pump, because I can. And then I'll probably easily kill it in one more hit. Yeah, there we go. So we defeated the admin and leader of Team Magma just right here with a team battle with uh, Steven. That was pretty awesome. Nice and tense. All I want, I just want to expand the landmass. Uh, quit whining, dude. You're trying to destroy shit. <laughs> I'm with our leader. That's all you have to say. <laughs> uh, we failed to make the volcano erupt. We failed to control Grodon after we awoken it. It's our goal to expand the land misguided? Uh-huh. If, if we Team Magma are wrong, then might Team Aqua's goal to expand the sea also be equally misguided? Yes, you finally get it, my god. <laughs> Alright, we will give up on the fuel. There appear to be more important matters that I must examine. Whew, that was too tense. Cory, thank you. I have something to give you as thanks for your support. Please come see me at my home after this. Oh yes, I don't live in Rustboro City. I live right here on this island. Yeah, I know. I already went into your house. Like, you left it unlocked, dude. What are you doing? And I think the guy here gives me something after beating them. I don't know. Where's the... The leader, or maybe it's the scientist. Hang on, let me just talk to him. Uh, why would Team Magma want to steal our? Okay, that's the same thing you said before we defeated them. Like, come on, dude, come up with something a little bit more original. Um, okay, yeah, these guys are all just gonna say the same stuff, so never mind. Nothing useful. Um, I don't really think there's anything else I get. No, I could swear I get like a moonstone or something by talking to one of these guys. Um, not even a one percent margin of error is allowed. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm wrong. I, for, for some reason, I thought I got an item in here, but apparently not. So let's go heal up, because I kind of need it. Um, yeah. Camel Toe's dead, so that's a problem. And then we'll go visit Steven and see what he has to give us. And healing takes forever, as always. Oh, is this uh, gym leader in this town? Okay, for some reason, I thought that was uh, Lynette. Because, I mean, you know, she it has the same sprite as her, and she's standing right here in the Pokemon Center, like, right next to me, so... Just a random hunch, but I was wrong. I don't know why, like, they even bother with having her as a character. Like, she doesn't give you anything, I don't think. Maybe she gave you, like, a one little item, but it wasn't even that important. Like, yeah, she made the PC and stuff, but that was it. Like, it wasn't really... I, I would expect someone of, you know... I would expect her to be of more importance, like, more of a main character. Okay, as you can see, there's not much here. This is my home. Thank you for all that you've done. This is my token of appreciation, the Hidden Machine Dive. Oh, okay, so he gives me the HM. That's pretty cool. And now we have 7 out of the 8 HMs and 7 out of the 8 gym badges, so that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I know how dive works, but you can only surface in certain areas, and yeah. So what I'm going to do is teach that to Sushi. I know it's it's kind of weird, I'm kind of using Sushi as like an HM slave, because um, I'm just going to say, spoiler alert, I'm also going to teach him Waterfall. But, I mean, the reasoning behind it, really the only reason I have Sushi is to be a strong water type attacker. 
and that's what those three moves are. So I know it's really stupid to replace Hydro Pump, but honestly, I didn't plan on keeping it because I know that there's three water type HMs, which I really don't like about this game. But I mean, he's gonna be learning all three of them eventually, and then I have a fourth move in mind for him already. So I know it's kind of stupid to do that, but that's again just my the way I do HMs and all that. So that's pretty cool that now I can use Dive, and I actually didn't look at the stats on that. I want to see uh, what power it is. Let's see, uh, power 60. So yeah, it's a two-turn move, and it's not that powerful, but I mean, it's decent. You know, better than nothing. I could have replaced it for Twister or something and kept Hydro Pump until later, but I mean, really, it's not that critical. So now I can, <clears throat> excuse me, continue on the route, and there's like a ton of Dive places back on that route, as you saw. And it's going to be really annoying to go through all of them, so I might do a bit of cutting out, or maybe maybe I'll speed it up. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this, but you can see there's a spot right here. So, let's see, the sea is deep here. Would you like to use dive? Yes. So this is pretty cool. And there's also some new interesting Pokemon you can find down here. And there's also the hidden items are really obvious. See, heart scale, just like, yeah. They just throw items at you in this part, if I remember right. And uh, the only thing is, when you want to surface, you have to go into the menu and use dive. So, kind of annoying, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal. And this is kind of a dilemma, because I don't want to use Repels yet, because there are some deep sea Pokemon that I want to catch, but I don't want to run into them on the surface, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I can just run from the ones. And actually, what I do want to do, though, is move uh, Cat Food back to the front for, like, all the trainers and stuff that I will be coming across. I really like the undersea part in this game, though. Like, it's really cool, just the effect of this. Okay, there's got to be some point to this. Oh, the point is that I can go under those rocks. Isn't that what it was? I think that's how this works. So that then when I come back up on the other side, yeah, so now I'm on a different part of the route that I couldn't get to before, and someone's calling me. Oh, it's May. I was just in Pacific Blog a little while ago. I saw a giant green Pokemon flying high in the sky. I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what it was. Is maybe a major discovery? Uh, yep. Something like that. That would be my favorite legendary that you're talking about. <laughs> and he's a Pelipper. I already caught one of those. Don't even care about you, so I might as well kill it, though, just for the experience. I mean, you know, I can just take it out with a Shockwave easily because it's doubly weak to electric, so, you know, get out of here. I honestly considered using Pelipper, just because, you know, I had a Wingle at the beginning of the game and I hadn't totally planned out my team yet, and I thought it would be kind of cool to use, but I decided against it, so. Because, I mean, Gyarados is just a freaking awesome Pokemon. Can't, no denying that. Um, maybe there's hidden items in the corners here? Nope, nothing. So this is basically the tall grass in the dive places, and that's how you run into wild Pokemon. It's kind of cool. I'm actually going to try and find one, just because I'm curious, like, what there is. I don't really remember. I think you can find, like, Chinchows, but that's all I remember for sure. And I'm not running into anything, so that's kind of annoying. Like, are you serious? The one time I'm actually trying to find wild Pokemon, I'm just going back and forth, and, okay, there's one. That's kind of cool. Finally. <laughs> and it's a Clamperoll. It's a really interesting Pokemon, it's kind of weird. I forget what it evolves into or if it even does, but you know, I'm just going to try and catch it because... So, I can't use Shockwave because it'll kill it. I'm going to try Hidden Power. Whoa, okay, that looks really cool. Okay, that did very little, but that's okay because like three of those will be perfect, so... And it is Psychic type because I, I did look it up and it's the only thing that Dark is immune to, so it has to be. I'm, okay, it raised its defense, but that doesn't matter because Psychic is special. I'm pretty sure it can take one more hit. I hope that doesn't kill it. And this will give me a chance to try out the new Dive Balls, so that's pretty cool. And it uses Whirlpool. That sucks, because now I'm going to get hurt after every turn, I think. Yeah, trapped in the Vortex. Didn't do a whole lot of damage, though, so that's not that big a deal. Um, I swear... Okay, did I just take more damage from being caught in the Whirlpool than I did from the initial hit of it? That's kind of funny. I have a feeling I'm going to be able to uh, catch this thing in one Dive Ball, though. Not that strong of a Pokemon, and two, three, caught it, sweet. Another new Pokemon to add to my collection of slaves in the computer box. <laughs> that was the most fake laugh I've ever done, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so going back up to the surface here, I'm probably going to start using repels now. Like, honestly, it's not that important for me to catch these new Pokemon. I'm going to be going back along all the routes and catching, like, every single one that I missed later, though, and that obviously will be off-camera, because that's just going to take forever. So, moving right along here. Oh, there's an item just chilling over there. Hopefully it's something important for all that diving and stuff. Oh, it's one of the shards. Cool. So there's that, and the water is dyed to deep blue. I know. It says the same thing every time. Like, it just takes so long to do all this stuff. It's the one thing I don't like about all these HMs, like, seriously. 
and how slow you go when you're underwater. I don't understand how this works though, like most of the HMs at least make sense. Like when you're doing fly, yeah, you're riding on your Pokemon that's flying, but how on earth can you breathe underwater just because your Pokemon can? Like you don't have any breathing apparatus, you're just sitting on top of your Pokemon, and just because it can dive underwater, like all of a sudden you can breathe underwater for as long as you want. It doesn't make any sense, like they didn't really think that through. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta go back along here again. And actually, I'm like laying down on my stomach on it with my arms like down at my sides for some reason. Okay, well, that'll about do it for this episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give the video a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.